On behalf of myself and my team, I would like to welcome you to the Cardiac Catheterization Lab here at Boulder Community Health. My name is Dr. Srinivas Iyengar. I am a Director of Structural Heart and Interventional Cardiology here at Boulder Community Health. Boulder Heart in itself is made up of a number of individuals who come from a varied amounts of backgrounds. My name is Tanya. I'm a cardiovascular invasive specialist here at Boulder Community Health in the cath lab. I assist Dr. Iyengar in all components of these procedures, from planning, coordinating, setup, and assisting him by his side throughout the procedure. I started in 2015. Um, about a year and a half later, we started talking about developing a structural program, and I knew the best person for it. I started working with Dr. Iyengar in 2011 in Florida, so I passed off his information, and lo and behold, he came. I'm Julie Jenkins and I'm the Interventional Cardiology Manager here at Boulder Community Health. I manage the areas of the cath lab EP, pre and post, so all the interventional cardiology procedures. One of the exciting parts about building the Structural Heart Program at Boulder Community was that we had the opportunity to take advantage of a really experienced provider who could bring all of his knowledge and then bring it to a team that we have that's really well integrated here at the hospital. It's great to continue working with him here at BCH all these years later. The care that we offer here is truly exceptional because of the expertise he provides. The training, the skill, the expertise that's here at Bold Heart is unmatched anywhere, even in academic centers. When we describe structural heart in cardiology, that means specifically taking care of patients who have valvular heart issues, which means the valves in the heart are not working too well. We have therapies now that do not require open heart procedures. Which consists of TAVRs, MitraClip, and Watchmen. We can provide care for patients who have significant valvular heart disease like aortic stenosis or mitral valve regurgitation with techniques and devices that can be delivered percutaneously or through the skin, through a vein or an artery, rather than opening the chest. There are a number of patients who can't take blood thinners for conditions like atrial fibrillation. Now, we have treatments like the Watchman procedure, which are also therapies to get patients off their blood thinners. One of the things that we all love in this team is that we're able to provide this really advanced technology and still keep the Boulder community feel. That combination really keeps us very passionate and excited about what we do. One of the perks of doing these complex cases here at BCH is that our team works really well together. We get to work with anesthesiologists, the open heart OR team. We have RNs in here. We have echo techs. We have another cardiologist doing the TEE. We work together to make sure the patient gets through the procedure safely. One of the advantages of Boulder Community and procedures here is that it's a smaller place and we tend to have the same teams working with the patients as they come in for the different phases of their care. So when they come in for their structural cases, we've usually met them once or twice. The people in the pre-procedure have seen them, some in the lab may have seen them, and so it's comforting for both the family and the patients alike. I feel that the team that has been formed here at Boulder Community Health, and I emphasize the word team because that is really what it comes down to. The nurses, the techs, the administrators, the physicians. We work together for one goal. It's making people feel better.